A super volcano in New Zealand is rumbling so much, it's shifting the ground above it. Now, the lake bed of one of the world's most hazardous supervolcanoes, New Zealand's Lake Topal, is constantly rising and falling, proving the volcano is still very much active. Nearly half a century of data has revealed. Now, Topal, a caldera volcano, and the site of New Zealand's largest lake, has been active 25 times in the last 12,000 years. It's responsible for one of the most significant explosive eruptions in recent human history, and this would be the AD 232 eruption that sent a whopping 120 cubic kilometers of pumice and ash into the atmosphere and was registered at VEI-6 and confirmed by isotopic carbon-14 data. Now, in 1979, scientists began an experimental project monitoring the lake levels as a way to detect volcanic and tectonic shifts. Now, to do this, the researchers installed fixed survey stations around the lake, at beaches, on cliff faces, jetties, and on specially designed platforms at the Horomontagi Reef, the main vent of the 232 eruption. The team hung specially made water gauges from 22 fixed points and used the purpose-built platform to take into account lake-level changes. And this allowed them to detect station height changes as small as 8 millimeters. And I quote, We suspect that if the volcano was active, this system might be able to detect small changes vertical deformation, as magma moved around, said Peter Otway, who has been involved in the project since it began and is the lead author on the paper published in the New Zealand Journal of Geology and Geophysics. Now, Otway also hoped to detect deformation due to tectonic stretching which had been known to have caused subsidence and a prolonged earthquake swarm back in 1922. The first few years of monitoring failed to produce anything particularly exciting for the researchers. But Otway's luck suddenly changed early in 1983. My Kinloch station, 10 kilometers west of the town of Topo, which had been very slowly subsiding, began to rise steadily, finally reaching 50 millimeters by mid-June, by which time I had issued a series of reports, he said. Then, lo and behold, a lady in Clinlock rang the office to say she had been nearly sloshed out of her bath by an earthquake soon followed by a flood of earthquake reports in lieu of any permanent seismographs in those days. The lake level surveying had apparently made the first detection in New Zealand of pre-earthquake deformation. The holy grail of predicting tectonic earthquakes, Otway said. And after further analysis, the team realized that the earthquake swarm was due to volcanic rather than tectonic activity, as was originally thought. But not all was lost. It is still considered the best example of volcanic unrest recorded by the scheme, he said. 
Now the 43-year-long data set has since shown that movements of magma and tectonic faults beneath the surface frequently cause the ground surface above the volcano to uplift and to subside. Within the lakes near Huramatanji reefs, the volcano has caused 160 millimeters of uplift, whereas north of the lake, the tectonic faults have caused 140 millimeters of subsidence, he said. Now, the program has helped prove, together with satellite and seismic monitoring, that Topol is still an active volcano, with periods of occasional unrest as it slowly but steadily inflates. And that's really bad news. But based on other volcanoes and volcanic eruptions, we know that another eruption at Topol is inevitable. And based on the historical documentation, the potential for a devastating eruption is very high. If we just look at the last 10 eruptions, VEI-6, VEI-4, VEI-2, VEI-4, VEI-4, VEI-3, VEI-6, VEI-4, VEI-4. So in just 10 eruptions, VEI-6 has a very high probability, 20% of occurring. Well, and that's not good news. But I digress, because the geologists on site in this region say that the evidence of one of the world's supervolcanoes steadily inflating is not cause for alarm. It's the number one thing that people ask the authors. Eventually, yes, it will erupt, but right now, probably no. Volcanoes naturally shift around in their sleep, especially a volcano with the eruptive nature of Topa, which is unlike any other volcano on the planet with multiple VEI-6s and a plethora of VEI-3s and 4s going back 12,000 years. This volcano will erupt again. It will erupt again maybe in many people's lifetimes. And the good news is that the seismometers are in place and the scientists are keeping a close eye on Topol. We'll leave you links to the paper, the entire paper, which is free. That's good news. It has all the data to show the ups and downs and the fact that beginning sometime in 2005, magma was in place beneath the volcano and it has been rumbling since then with temperature fluctuations up and down as the magma brews underneath the Orani Ignimbrite and the Taupo Ignimbrite, which are two of the largest emplacements of magma on planet Earth in the Holocene. And this is a big one. And here is all we know about the magma system and the vent locations currently. And it's right under the lake. And you know what that means. It's boom time. Hope you got something out of the video. Lake Topol will erupt at some time in the near future. And what I mean by that is in the next few decades, potentially. But we will have precursor knowledge just like the eruption at La Palma in the Canary Islands. So... Stay tuned for more updates on Topol. Be safe. We love you, each and every one of you. Thanks to our one-time donors, our Patreons, 
and the heroes that share this video. We'll talk to you soon, and that's a boom to knowledge. Mm.